bless you. Mungu awabariki. The general election is slightly over a year away, but the field is fast getting crowded. Another presidential aspirant whose ambition was not widely known until today has also tossed himself in the race. It is with humility that I accept the nomination of the Safina party to offer myself as candidate for the high office of president of the Republic of Kenya. A candidacy he secured after an election that saw activists Moli Mumati and Cyprian Yamwamu become party chairman and secretary general respectively. However, the party left the deputy party leader's post vacant, a position that according to the party's constitution would be taken by the presidential candidate's running mate. I got the impression that uh, you are focusing on the Honorable Abdi Kadil. We did not feel that position. It's vacant. It was frozen. And the delegates gave uh, leave for that position to be filled uh, sometimes uh, in the future. That notwithstanding, the party is raring to go. Safari meanza sasa, safari tutaenda na tuta faulu, tuta topoa. The sky is the limit for the economy of this country. Now that is jobs, that is wealth creation, that is good standards of living, that is movement away from farming. However, for Safina party, the possibility of mergers and coalitions with other political parties ahead of next year's general election is quite attractive. And since you, as a reform party like Safina, is very happy, and I'm here to say that we look forward to signing a pre-election agreement with the Safina. The party secured five parliamentary seats in the last general election and is aiming to stamp its authority come the next general election. Safina party has never died and indeed has decided to stop playing dead. Its slogan, change has come, change is new. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.